Hello, welcome to our webinar, Result-Focused AI. I am Israel from asmev.com, and this webinar is organized by the Industrial Development Bureau, IDB, under Taiwan's Ministry of Economic Affairs. The Industrial Development Bureau is in charge of national industrial development tasks, providing services for Taiwan's various industrial segments. It is committed to leading Taiwan's industrial innovation, upgrading, and transformation, with the end goal of helping industrial players to improve productivity and international competitiveness. With artificial intelligence becoming a key trend, the IDB seeks to help industries transform and overcome any pain points that they have with artificial intelligence. And to achieve that, they introduced a very interesting dual development model that combines a top-down theme-based approach and also a bottoms-up needs-based approach. So what basically they're doing is that they link together industry associations and identify companies that have AI technology to ex and encourage them to explore uh, fields and industries in need of AI applications through guidance, different subsidy programs, and promoting empirical cases of our AI. This mechanism has resulted in many successful Taiwanese companies specializing in AI, and there's also a growing interest among users of, of security and IoT devices, especially in Asia, where it has big growth potentials in security and traffic enforcement, etc. In this regard, today we will have two Taiwanese companies, Ability and Liling, that have the technology to meet user demands, and they will introduce how their AI solutions help solve client pain points. We have a very interesting panel of uh, speakers today that represent uh, the industry uh, value chain. We will start with Patrick Lim from Ademco Security Group. Patrick is the director of group strategy in Ademco, which is a large SI and security service provider present in seven countries across APAC. We will continue with Mr. Steve Hu from Merit Lilin, a manufacturer of IP cameras, uh, recorders and software and mr johnny wu is the imaging systems uh, he is the director of the imaging systems business unit in ability enterprise ability is a large uh, taiwanese manufacturer with experience in the design and manufacturing of the uh, optical and electro optical devices our last speaker for the day uh, mr johnny wu from Ability Enterprise. Johnny, are you with us? Yeah. Hello. Good afternoon. Israel. Hello. Good afternoon. And I understand that the first case study that you're going to share with us is uh, from Mexico. Yeah. An action movie. <laughs> An action movie. Great. So I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to to seeing it. And uh, uh, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining the webinar today. My name is Johnny Wu from Ability. Uh, it's my pleasure to take this chance to share our AI deploy case today. Uh, I'm going to share three cases, and all these three cases are related to our everyday life. The most important thing is that to everyone understand what how AI can help how AI can help our life smarter and safer so now let's move to the next page okay yeah this is the page um, no that uh, okay today I'm gonna to share three cases the first one is a city law enforcement and the second one will be a smart traffic and then a smart charging system now let's watch the me the video We are arriving. We have them in sight. We have them in sight. <laughs> 
Good job, guys. What if families could collaborate with law enforcement to prevent crime with the most advanced technology serving security accessible by any person with a mobile phone? A community can now share video clips and data within conversation threads that can help identify potential threats in the vicinity. Some video and data sharing settings with anonymous setting option. A follow me feature that provides digital surveillance from point A to B. A panic button that alerts central police directly in case of an emergency while sharing location and personal medical data and patrol ETA tracking for families to know the live location of the dispatched patrol. Imagine the result of having millions of families connected via cutting edge technology, data analytics and intelligence, all with the same purpose, giving our families a safer world. Okay, um, this case, Okay, let, let's not uh, as a movie made by Hollywood. Okay, it's it's a real case made by our partner in U.S. and Mexico. This 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 system is a so-called hybrid system, including cloud edge server and our AGI camera. As we all know, a lot of uh, high we all know the uh, high crime rate. It's always a pain point in some of the Latin American country. People facing a lot of crime threat in everyday life. So our partner built this system and it did help to drop about 40% of the crime rates. Now let me move to the next page for deeper explanation. In this Cloud Plus Edge AI camera system, we use S AI camera which made by ability to detect the first event, such like weapon detection, vehicle identify, and the car play light recognition and the face recognition. After the camera finished the data collecting, it will send the metadata to each server, and then the server will collaborate with the management system on the cloud and take immediate reaction. And this system also provide a mobile phone app to the user so uh, they can call help by the mobile app when they're facing a crime threat. In the next page I'm going to make more detailed explanation. In this system uh, we use Wi-Fi 6 to connect the whole devices and the system provide user a mobile app with many useful functions such like uh, uh, follow me. This feature provides a real-time surveillance during his journey. The connected AI camera on the street can trace the whole route to, the, uh, to ensure the user is safe. The system also provides a panic button for user to call help when he needs uh, help from uh, police. And furthermore, the system also allow the user to custom his own video and the data sharing to the necessary person. In, in overall, this AI system provides people a safe life in the city and reduce the crime rate as well. Now let's move to the next case. Okay, the second case I'm going to share is a smart traffic intersection this is a, a system we work together with our Malaysia uh, partner. And I'm going to show you the detail. Okay. Uh, as we all know, in a lot of cities in the world, traffic jam problem always bothers you and me, especially in Southeastern Asia. According to the report, that the people need to spend more, more than one hour for their traffic time, which means every day, we're gonna to spend more than two hours to the office and then back home. In order to reduce the uh, everyday traffic time, we work together with our partner to develop this system. We have compared the people who do not use 
any system or they use Google Map and use our uh, AI traffic control system. As you can see the result from the uh, uh, graphic, the, the gray one, the gray one here as people who do not use any uh, uh, system. The blue one as people use the Google Map indication and the, the green one is the people use ours. So you can see the people use our system in green, in, in those green dots shows that they can spend much less time than the other two. Okay, now next to the next. Okay, in this season, we also use um, HAI Camera Plus Cloud Collaboration System. We put four AI camera on the corner, on the street corner, to catch the information of uh, car play, vehicle type, moving direction, and uh, car quantity. The camera then will send this metadata to each server, and after that, the server will communicate with the management system to control the uh, traffic sign direction. And this will provide the most optimized traffic sign management to reduce the traffic jam. Okay, now let's move to the next page. Yeah, this page you can see uh, in the uh, live vid video which is captured from uh, our monitoring system. You can watch the whole street from the map and the real-time video of the street. In the video, you can see we identify the vehicle in the street and the live data can help a lot to reduce the traffic hour. Okay. So you can see the car, you can see we identify what kind, what type of the car, what is the moving direction of the car, and what type of the uh, uh, car. Okay, next. Now let's go to the next. Okay, the last one, last case I'm going to show is an electric vehicle charging system. There are four, four uh, major components in this project spark plug and the sensor smart charging system which is app and the energy management system and our hai camera in next page i will make more detailed explanation okay here uh, as we know know that the uh, electric vehicle now is getting more and more popular but the problem here in taiwan is Charging station is always not enough. Most of the uh, people do not have charging station at their home. So even that, they need to find a charging space. And the uh, some of the uh, parking lot they need to provide the uh, specified charging space for electrical vehicle with charging system. But unfortunately, it, it happened often, the full car will always occupy those charging park space. In order to resolve the problem, our partner worked with us to build this smart charging system. In next slide, well, let me explain in detail. In this system, we use uh, our AI camera to identify the play type. And here, in I think that the electric car and uh, and the regular full car, the, the car play type and uh, the uh, numbers, they are different. By our HAI camera, we can identify if that's um, uh, a regular full car or it's an electric vehicle car play. Only, only the car play being recognized as electric vehicle car, then the jet will be lower, will be uh, activated. And after that, after the car complete, completed his charging and pay for the bill, then 
he he left the uh, the charging space and the gate will be raised up again. Also, we also provide a uh, app that can uh, provide the uh, reservation. So uh, if you drive on the street and you find you may not have enough uh, uh, power, then you can find the uh, nearest charging station from the app and provide you a reservation function so you, you can find uh, the, the most close uh, charging station which is available. Okay, let's move to the next page. Okay, uh, after that, I'm going to, 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 to show, that's all about the three cases I'm, I'm sharing today. And now, um, please allow me to spend a little bit time to, to, to uh, introduce a little bit about ability. Okay, um, we ability was founded in uh, 1965, and we have um, over uh, 20 years camera OEM ODM experience. There are over uh, 300 engineers in the company, and we provide the hardware, software, mechanical, and optical design service. And then now we also uh, provide the uh, uh, AI solution. Uh, work together with our partner. In the past 20 years, we produce more than uh, 100 million unit camera to the world. And we provide uh, both in Taiwan and China manufacturing service to our customer. As we know, we all know AI will be the feature chain, so we work together with Intel and uh, as, as, as their um, edge AI partner become their ODM partner to promote the age AI ecosystem together. Okay. And next page, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, age AI. But today, we, I think, just like uh, leading Steve is also talking about the age AI. And today, we both talked about uh, a lot of uh, age AI camera. And you may know, you may ask why, what's the benefit of the age AI camera? The first one, I think, is really the real-time data processing. You don't have to upload to the cloud or server to, to run the AI. And so you can also save a lot of label and the monitoring uh, the system to and you can save a lot of uh, operating cost and the labeling cost. In furthermore, Edge AI also allowed you to run a local intranet system which provide a better privacy to the uh, user. And uh, the last one, HAI also can help to reduce a lot of bandwidth due to most of the time, the HAI camera only need to provide metadata to, to the cloud. You don't have to upload your stream all the time. So uh, I think that's the uh, HAI camera benefit. Okay, now let's move to the next. Yeah, in our age AI camera, we provide a well-defined uh, AI framework and the SDK to our customer, which can allow you to deploy your own AI software if you have. The SDK is based on Intel OpenVINO uh, toolkit, so the customer can easily find the AI software from the Intel OpenVINO ecosystem. It's also okay if you don't have a uh, own AI software, you can work together with us and our partner to, to, to uh, create a total, uh, total solution. Yeah, if you are interested to know more, more about uh, our cam camera or ability, please do feel free to contact us.
thank you. That's about my uh, presentation today. Thank you, Johnny. Stay on the line with us. I'll now invite uh, our other panelists to join us for the Q&A session. We have a few interesting questions from, from the audience. Patrick, Steve? Hello. So the first question is uh, for Patrick. Uh, when you look at the current generation of uh, AI solutions, how is it uh, different compared to the previous generations of the video analytics that you mentioned? I think that uh, uh, there are some uh, uh, there are some difference. Uh, the older generations, uh, when when he started with the VA uh, technology. A lot of it was did not have a very good learning ability. You know, they were pretty much very rigid rules that is being set up, and there was no uh, once you set it up, and that's it. You know, you don't have a lot of uh, you don't even have a very short growth path. It's a very too narrow and very narrowly built type of device or even server. And uh, one big thing is the resources needed nowadays. You know, as our, the, the two good speakers have said, you know, now a lot of it is on the chip itself and also on the device itself. It's so much easier to deploy. In the past, you would literally have to get a server just to power up a few uh, cameras itself and to do very, very simple uh, type of uh, analytics. So right now, definitely the, 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 the ability and the potential to grow uh, is, is a, a, lot, a lot better. Mm, I see. So in terms of uh, improvement, uh, where did you see the most improvement in, in your current projects compared to previous legacy projects? Is it in uh, cutting down costs, manpower costs, uh, in time until, uh, until the solution is operational? I think the ease, uh, cutting down costs is always a big, is always a big, big part of uh, uh, the customer's concern. Uh, now we have a much shorter time from design to deployment and then much easier to to see results you know in the past you know maybe the the, the technology is not so not so stable it's very difficult to tell people to see the to let people see the result now it's very straightforward you know you, you can see the result immediately you can save uh, money from that by either the replacement of a security guard or a replacement of a lot of other devices that one AI powered uh, solution would be able to do, you know. So definitely, in order to expect and and also and also one thing that people don't always uh, talk about is that 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 peace of mind, you know, that peace of mind. Once you deploy a good solution that is AI powered, is literally twenty four seven. You know, it is not just in the past a camera that's down there that's either beeping all the alarm messages all the time with no filtering and no intelligence at all, or it is just acquiring a lot of data and just storing it, that nobody's looking at it. Now it's very intelligent, you know, so when I get an alarm right now, I know that it's being flagged by AI system, it's a lot more uh, sophisticated, it's learning every time that it flags out things, and then that would be something that I need to pay attention to, you know, and not just another false alarm. So that is very important for, 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 for the customer and especially for a service provider like us that provides the, the service. I see. Steve, before I come to the questions that were asked for Lilin, what is your point of view about the, the leap, the change in technology from the old school video analytics to today AI powered VA? Yes, as mentioned by Patrick, uh, before the IVS technology costs a lot of force alarm, but right now with AI, <clears throat> it helps a lot for reducing the force alarm. I think a lot uh, give us a lot of help for a force alarm improvement. Improve, improvement. I see. Yeah. So we have one question from the audience. Uh, does Li Ling provide uh, AI-based cameras that can analyze human behavior, such as smoking? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, people, as mentioned by Patrick, people getting more and more 
imagination for solutions. Mm. So uh, people starting to be creative. However, we do not provide the smoking uh, solution yet. But one interesting application people mentioned about uh, trash can detection. So they wanted to see if the trash can is full or not. So this more specific uh, implementation, we're getting more. Uh, I hope that within, within the near future, we are going to provide a solution for you. Yeah, thank you. And for example, if somebody wants uh, you to detect the people smoking, uh, generally speaking, how long will be the training time for, for such a project? Uh, OK, the process for uh, provide a solution, first of all, we are going to collect at least 3,000 pictures, people having people smoking. Picture, at least 3,000 pictures from, now that it's getting better to acquire those information. <clears throat> and then you need about uh, 1,000 for people not smoking. So, and then we train the engine for about uh, three weeks. And then, then we are able to provide solution for smoke detection. That's that's the process now. Mm. So, the the complaint about people is not <clears throat> they wanted to become a wide open view. They want to use the camera as wide as possible. So, for that information, uh, it's very difficult to detect smoking or non-smoking. So that's my answer. If it, I mean, <clears throat> thank you. No, no, it's very interesting. Good. And Johnny, I have uh, yeah. a few questions for. Uh, for ability okay. in in parking management does your app also uh, help people find their car in case they forgot where they parked it um basically we can do that but in this system we do not provide that because uh, because uh, we are more focused on uh, vehicle car plate ident identification we I think that in all the uh, uh, parking system, we can provide this kind of function. That's no problem because uh, we use use the AGI, so you can recognize the uh, uh, car play and uh, the location if we have the map in in, in the uh, system. Okay, and uh, another. Question, this one is for, for all panelists. Can your AI products be used to monitor COVID-related uh, cases? Uh, do you have any implementations or, or use cases that you can talk about? Oh, yes, we do have um, a, a, one case which is used for the um, uh, works, workspace safety, OK? Uh, that one, we provide the uh, mask detection if the uh, the label the construction label he did not wear the uh, the mask, then he then the gate will not be opened. This is what we already uh, done with our partner, and in that case we beyond this we also provide uh, the helmet and the mask and the face and also the uh, uh, seat belt, the belt uh, mm -hmm. detection. I see. Patrick, is there uh, from your clients? Is there a lot of demand for COVID-related uh, for COVID-related solutions? What what kind? Occupancy management, face uh, mask detection. What do people want the most? Me? Uh, so uh, I want to just uh, address just now. Uh, yes, the, the 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 answer is yes. We have a lot of such requirements, uh, but. Uh, I want to link that question to just now what Steve has has, has a request for this the smoking detection. So when we were designing some of this and working with our partners to detect uh, input AI into some of these solutions, often we ask the customers that we run through a few scenarios with the customers because we don't want to jump into training AI to look out for something straight away because the the entire problem solving uh, process doesn't straight jump into technology. It comes with before that. For example, just now like the smoking one is that, you know, do you have a situation, do you create a situation whereby when people are aware of it, they could easily defeat the AI system? Then that would sort of make it very easy uh, for you to spend a lot of money and then for somebody to just hide their hand away or just, you know, turn away from the camera and then defeat the, 
the, the, the, the, the technology. So same thing coming back to the COVID, uh, we had a lot of uh, 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 solution running in the last two years. And initially it was all about fever, you know, fever detection, we've been using the thermal and then linking up with the, um, the mask wearing and then the facial recognition and things like that. What we have now progressed on is that we have talked to customers and then we are, we are working on things like, for example, vaccination is going to be a very big part of the, uh, the process going forward. And uh, whether is it in traveling, whether is it going into facilities, whether is it going to a mall, to an office, vaccination seems to be a status that would help or would have to be considered. So how do you extract that information from uh, the customer side if they are willing to give out that private information to be part of the access control process and for AI to take over and try to uh, uh, combine all the needed information. Where was his last location? Where was he last in, in the office? Is he going to a place whereby it is going to be sensitive? You know, is he experiencing, does he have a uh, high fever? And does he look like, you know, he has uh, behave and other behavior stuff that will link together and uh, be able to uh, uh, learn and then uh, uh, including extracting other information from the uh, official sources to change the rules as we go uh, around. For example, you know, right now, uh, uh, if you have a, if the uh, uh, authority has recently banned a certain, just uh, over the last hour has declared a particular mall that has been, has an outbreak, and then this person just over the last hour has is now going back to your office. So if your system is able to pick it up easily, scan through everything, and then we'll be able to reject the, uh, the person from coming in because you've just been to that place. So these are some of the things that we, we are talking to the customers on. It's all about getting the data and learning the, the pattern of things uh, as far as uh, dealing with COVID. I see. So we have time for two last uh, questions. These two last questions are more technical about uh, edge devices. The first question is from the Philippines. Is internet bandwidth a factor in the successful implementation of AI? Because here in the Philippines, we have a weak internet connection. And the second question about the edge devices is uh, about updating them. Uh, how can you update existing installed uh, AI uh, edge AI uh, cameras if there are uh, new, uh, new improvements or better modules? Maybe we start with uh, Steve. So the first question is, uh, is how, uh, how important is good internet connectivity for, for edge AI devices? Uh, okay, the benefit for edge AI is that uh, <clears throat> we only recognize, so the AI process is inside the SOC, the chipset. So once we analyze, how we provide to, to a text-based message, mm -hmm. what happened and the what. So we will provide, if we recognize the car, turn left, we will tell them, okay, left turn violation and the car. So which is much better for, uh, you will not chunk a big, uh, big bandwidth. So I think that's the solution uh, you are looking for. I see. And the second question, Mr. Wu, about updating of the edge devices. One of the advantages of a central, centrally managed system is you update only one system and everything is updated. In edge devices, the the burden of maintenance and updating each one, how how is that possible to solve? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that this is also can be resolved by uh, with so-called OTA. We can open the, uh, the air. We, if, if you have a new uh, algorithm or you have a new uh, software update, you can run by the uh, central system. Of course, it depends. Some people, they don't want to, to have um, uh, the vendor or the uh, service provider to, to update for them, they can update by themselves. They want to update by themselves because they want to manage them by themselves. But in this AGI camera, that they provide the OTA function so people that they can update from the air. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, our time is up. I'd like to thank you all for joining me today, the speakers and the attendees. I learned a few very interesting things.
we will be sharing a recording of this uh, webinar to everybody. So if you want to revisit it uh, later on at home, or if you didn't make it to watch the whole hour, you only watch the beginning, you can later on uh, watch it. We'll be sharing it with you in the next few days. And if uh, you have any questions to me or to one of our panelists, you can always drop me an email and I'll make sure that uh, somebody contacts you. Thank you, speakers. Thank you, listeners, Thank you. and I hope to meet all of you live soon. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.